We have three friends to add to our table of friends today. Nick, please give me one friend to add to our table of friends. Anything. Anything to add. You're low. You're not there. Right. Yeah. That's okay. I can pick. Nick's got it. Um, electric force. Okay. So we have the second one here is the electric force. Symbol for the electric force. Lindsay. Um, big F. Big F, capital F, sub E for electric force. Dimensions on the electric force. This song. Um, Newton. Newton. What is a Newton in base SI dimensions? Christine. A Newton in base SI dimensions, please. Kilograms times meters per second squared Newton's second law, and that force equals mass times acceleration. So force is in the dimensions of mass times acceleration. The equation for the electric force, please. Hannah. The electric force equals K Coulomb's constant, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth Newtons times meters squared divided by coulombs squared. That multiplied by charge one times charge two divided by R. R class is not. Let's try that again. Class R is not. It is. Distance between the center of charge of the two charges. This is especially confusing because R sometimes is the radius. Good. This is the electric force that exists between two charges. It could be attractive. It could be repulsive. When would it be an attractive force? Charlie? Like charges? If they have like charges, and if they have unlike charges, then it would be a repulsive force. Good. We have other things to add. Wait, wait, wait. Did I say it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try again. Let's see if I get it right. They are unlike charges. They. Okay. See, I don't have to get it right. If, I, if they're unlike charges, they. If they are like charges, they. Uh, see, I should do it that way every time. I don't have to think. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> but alas, it's not going to work that way. All right. We have other things to add to our table of friends today. Danaher, add one for me. Uh, coulombs. Coulombs. All right. That is our dimension here. The symbol for that is C, and that is coulombs. Um, what does coulombs, what is that the dimension for? Pooja. Charge, we'll just put charge. I agree, quantized charge is the equation we're going to use, but the, just the simple name is charge. What is the symbol for charge, Kareem? Q. Q. It actually could be big Q or little Q. We kind of go back and forth. So big Q or little Q. The equation for charge. Uh, Jessica. Um, charge equals um, N times fundamental charge. Good. N times the fundamental charge. What is N? Mr. Sims. Uh, integer. Just stop. It's an integer. N is an integer. What is E the fundamental charge? Mary. Um, positive or negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Where does this, the fundamental charge, come from? Krauss. Fundamental charge. You can help me with the fundamental charge. Where does it come from? It's the charge on protons or electrons. The charge on a single proton or a single electron, depending whether we have a positive or negative. Good. We have one other friend to add to our table of friends. Rick? Um, the electric field. Symbol for electric field. Carlo? Um, the e. A capital E, a big E. Dimensions for the electric field. 
feel low. Uh, is it? It's not Newton's out. That's the electric force. So electric feel. Rudberg? Um, Newton's per coulomb. Newton's per coulomb. Newton's divided by coulombs. We have two equations for the electric field. Mr. Chen, give me one. Uh, the electric force divided by the charge. The electric field equals the electric force per unit charge. This is the basic definition of the electric field. Emily X, the other equation for the electric field is? Um, K times the charge over R squared. K times Q over R squared. This equation right here is specifically for the electric field around a point charge. So a point charge or a sphere, this is the electric field that exists around it. Therefore, Q would be the charge of that uh, charge that we're talking about, and R would be the distance from the center of that charge to whatever point we're talking about for that electric field. One other small thing we need to make sure we've identified is that the electric field is a vector. I'll put two exclamation points next to that because that is a very important piece of information that you need to remember. We are, of course, going to work with that and make sure you understand how we work with that in just a moment.